The new DJI Air 3 is one of the fastest moving folding consumer drones that DJI have produced. With fast movement comes the possibility and probability of jerky, nasty videos. However, there are some simple, powerful and easily configurable settings that will smooth things out and that is what I'm going to go through today. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones and yes, I'm still playing with the DJI Air 3. And as I said, it is actually one of the fastest drones that DJI have produced. Certainly, uh, with its top speed, it's up there with the Mavic 3s, but with its ascent and descent, it's actually pretty much the fastest drone that they have produced other than the FPV and the um, Avatar. So, how do you ensure that things stay smooth and crucially you get smooth video? Smooth video is all about how smooth the camera is moving and how smooth the drone itself is moving. And as I said, there are some very powerful and uh, easily configurable settings that make a huge difference to how smooth things are. So, further ado, let's get the drone up in the air and I will quickly go through the main settings that will make all the difference to you. So the settings I'm talking about today are the obstacle avoidance settings and also the gain and expo settings. And I'll go through them very quickly now. First of all, top right, three dots top right. right. And under safety, you will go down and you can see here, first setting is obstacle avoidance action. This catches out a lot of people. When you have the obstacle avoidance action set to bypass mode, for whatever reason, you'll find that some of the sticks are extremely sensitive and produce a disproportionate movement in the actual drone itself. So if I just touch the right stick now, thank you, Ted, um, you can see how it lurches from left to right. And if I come backwards and forwards, just the tiniest touch, and it is all over the place. Nasty. So first off, set it to brake mode. If you touch it into brake mode, you'll find that the whole idea of bypass mode is when it comes up against an obstacle, it's gonna try and go round it. Brake mode, it will simply come to a stop. So obviously that's the consequence of changing the setting, but you will see that once it's in brake mode, it is much smoother. And the same coming backwards, even a quick full stick, very slow. So that has a huge impact on the smoothness of the, mo of the movement. Right, the next set of settings I want us to change are all housed in one screen uh, called the Gain and Expo settings. So you just tap three dots again, tap Control, scroll down a little bit and you've got Gain and Expo Tuning. It kind of belies what's actually behind this screen. This screen is easily the most powerful screen to get smooth settings. And I have done videos on this screen before. However, the Air 3 brings some added fun or complications with it. Air 3, as I said, is one of the fastest drones out there now. Uh, and certainly with its ascent and descent, you'll only get this uh, 10 meter per second fast speed if you're in sport mode. So you may actually have to make changes to these settings, even in sport mode, in order to achieve smooth video. So what I'm gonna do is go through what each of the settings does, highlight which are the most important, and remind you that you have got three sets of the same settings, one for Cine, one for normal and one for sport. And you will want different values for the different uh, flight modes that you're gonna be in. So first off, let's just stick to normal and then we can go from there. Normal, these are what the defaults will be when you first get your drone. Max horizontal speed, 12 meters per second. That's the top speed, probably all you want. Max ascent speed and descent speed. You'll see it's only six meters per second. Like I said, in sport mode, that goes up to 10 meters per second, which is a brilliant feature and one you probably wanna make use of. Max angular velocity. So this is otherwise known as yaw, and it's simply how quick the drone is turning on the uh, vertical, okay? Uh, in sport mode, you'll find it's quite a high value, 75 degrees per second. So basically one second, it would turn almost a quarter turn. This is probably one of the um, ugliest things I see in drone videos where you're flying along and you suddenly see this very nasty, jerky, well, let's show you. You're flying along, la la la, and then they turn and you just have this nasty jerk. Ugly, ugly, and completely avoidable. So what we're gonna do, go back into that and we will reduce the angular velocity down, probably around to uh, 40, 50. Now, like I said, 
normal, you'll have one setting. Sport, you may want it to be a bit faster. If you drop that right down to say 30, 35 degrees per second. Now, when I do full left, it's still fast, but not as fast as it was. And obviously, if you're in cine mode, you may want this value right down to get super gentle. If I take it right down to say 27, even 20 degrees, you'll now see it's much smoother, but the moment you let go of the stick, it stops dead. That's still nasty and we can still smooth that out and improve on it. So let's just move the angular velocity back up to say 30, 35, but it's the your smoothness, the next setting that you want to bump up. Your smoothness is a little buffer that basically gradually introduces the movement and gradually stops the movement. So if we actually lift that up a bit, you'll see now when I do a left turn, it starts slowly. And when I let go, it carries on a little bit. Now too much and it'll just keep on spinning a bit too much. So you experiment and see what works for you. I tend to find around 50 is good. So angular velocity is how quickly the drone is gonna turn. Your smoothness is how slowly or fast that movement starts and stops. One of the key controls. Right, let's move on. Brake sensitivity. I love the fact that the default value on this is not actually the maximum. To me, you should have the maximum braking when you uh, let go of these sticks. Brake sensitivity is literally how fast will the drone come to a stop when you let go of the stick. Me, I want it to stop pretty fast. Yes, you have the pause button, which you can hit and that will stop things immediately. Yes, it's also got obstacle avoidance. But in my opinion, you let go of those sticks, you've let go because you want the drone to stop. You don't want it going trailing on. To me, you should always have the brake sensitivity as high as possible. So. First off, let's see the consequences of having it right down low. Go forwards, let go, and it just carries on. Same in reverse. Backwards, let go, and it just carries on. It comes to a halt eventually. Let's change that now to high braking sensitivity. And you go forwards and let go, stops immediately. And the same, reversing, let go, stops immediately. To me, brake sensitivity should always be at the maximum. You may disagree, adjust it at your peril. Right, next section, Expo. Right, don't want to send, spend too much on this. Basically, what the exponent, it stands for exponential stick movement. And the idea is how sensitive are the sticks when you first start to move them? In truth, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I find the default settings are pretty good as it is. If anything, you might want to adjust the yaw, the middle one, and have it, the flatter the X, the more gentle the movement is with a gentle stick movement. Um, so again, let's pull it all the way up that way. And you can see the moment I start turning it, slight stick movement starts turning it straight away. So now, Jack that all the yaw straight the way down so we've got a flatter X. Now, a very slight movement results in a practically no movement at all. You have to move the stick a lot before it starts turning. So that's all that the Expo is doing. How much movement do you want based on how much stick movement do you want? It's the last setting that I really want to focus on as well. The last one, max gimbal control speed, okay? This is basically how fast will the camera pitch up and down. Again, huge effect on the smoothness of your video. Let's uh, get that straight up to a high speed. And when you move the uh, gimbal up and down, vroom, straight down, straight up, not good. So I like to have a fair bit of speed, around 30, 35 degrees per second. So that would take three full seconds for it to go right the way down through to the vertical. Um, full gimbal lock, you can see it's quite fast and you've got the same effect here you've got a sudden stop and just like with the angular velocity you've got this tilt smoothness and that's the last key setting i want to go through again if you increase that tilt smoothness just like the angular velocity smoothness it's a buffer how slow do you want it to start moving how slow do you want it to come to a stop again i've got that now jacked right up to 25. i start moving the gimbal down and you can see it starts i let go 
and it carries on a little bit. Now, to me, that's probably still a little bit too fast. So I'm going to actually drop my pitch speed down to around 20. Now, when I'm flying along and I want to look down, gentle, look at that, isn't that lovely and smooth? And I let go and it just finishes off. So I don't want to get too bogged down. It doesn't need to be a super long video on this, but there are a key, few key uh, settings that will make all the difference. Make sure you're in brake. Absolutely crucial for uh, very subtle stick movements. Go into the gain and expo. Leave the maximum speeds on high if you want, but that max angular velocity, how quickly is the drone going to turn? You probably want to bring that down and you want to bring the smoothness up. Expo, leave a little bit of a flat X and then that bottom one, the pitch speed, you want to have that down quite low and again you want the smoothness up. When you move the sticks, it's going to move gently to the side. When you turn the left stick and you're turning the drone, it's going to turn slowly. And when you pitch the camera with the flywheel, it's going to pitch down slowly and controlled. They're the three main movements that will affect the smoothness of the video you take. But like I said, remember, sport mode, you may want to adjust these settings as well, because you may want to be moving and flying quite fast, especially with that big ascent doing the big reveal shots, but you're still going to want smooth gimbal movements. As ever, have a little play, work out what works for you. I'll put my favourite settings in the notes below, so you can easily just copy them and just adjust them slightly uh, to make things work perfectly for you. Anyway, as you can see, I am still having fun with this uh, beast of a little drone. It is crazy, it is good fun, um, as ever. Little thumbs up, help the video along. Until next time, have fun, happy flying.